Yo, what's going on, sexy simulators? Well, the reason I'm playing set today, because I know <clears throat> a lot of people are like, what the heck? This isn't Triad Thursday. Why are you playing set? Well, I haven't played set in a very long time. Uh, just in general, like, I, I really just don't play set anymore. But on top of that, I went to Adapting Stream and I asked him what I should play, and he said set. And so here we are. You know, a lot of times I just can't think of what I what I'm gonna do because you know we upload a video every single day, and sometimes two videos a day. I used to do two videos every day, but I think that gets a little bit much. Like it it, it does. Okay, let me put it this way: doing two videos every single day is a lot because of the fact that there is only 120 gods, right? Like there. Well, okay, I say only. There's way too many gods in my opinion there should only be like 80 but um there's only so much you can do in duel like in conquest you always have something new you always have something different because it's a 5v5 and every you know you could have one game your solo laner could go 0 and 48 and somehow you go 52 and 1 and win the game you know but uh in duel it's just like there's only so much new things you can do so it makes sense but it's a little tough to kind of figure out like new things but um you know that being said it's fine you do a lot of damage to me good friend you do only have one of each pot though so i could go sicko mode on you he has shell too so i probably can't kill him Alright. We got his potions there. That's a good sign. Okay. I really don't want to die, but I'm losing so much HP to these archers. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. Forget the archers. Let's just get this blue buff. Because he's going to hit five and crack in the Christ out of me, and I will be dead. Oh, lordy, he's coming. I actually I kind of want to fight. That's stupid. Not is that stupid. That is stupid, but I want to do it anyways. Oh. Oh god. Bro, if he circles around me, I am dead. Why did he do that? Why did he do that, boys? I thought I was dead as heck. But he didn't have any mana. He didn't have any mana. He ran at me for no reason. I guess he had mana, but then he threw his three and then didn't have mana. I, yeah. I guess if you think of it the real way it happened, it, it <clears throat> I could understand how he would misplay that. In his mind, I'm dead there. Which is fair, because if he had mana, I was dead there. <laughs> and, you know, it, it happens to be all the time where you think you can... You think you can fight, but then... Turns out you didn't have enough mana, or your ult cooldown was five seconds away, or something like that, you know? It's an unfortunate series of events that happens when you play Smite sometimes. Which is what makes Smite fun, you know? You're not always the greatest to ever do it. Some days, you're just a bronzy. Ouch. Can you not, though? Jeez, bro. Why? <laughs> Like, why? Why are you that mad at me? I think I'm going to go Pestilence here. Get my Anta heal online. I could also go full damage set. That's pretty fun. I want to go full power set. Everyone always builds auto attack set nowadays. So I want to keep it interesting. 
even though I'm playing set and I want to go auto attack. I went that way. Damn it. Bonk. Oh well, you know, <laughs> at least I can get buffs. Oh, he had shell still up. Would you look at that? Did not know he, sh he still had shell up. That is mighty unfortunate. Now I don't know if I do get this. I mean, I get the red, but I don't know if I get my blue. I feel like I could be big dead. Ah, he's not going to show up in time. Nice. Uh, Does he have Kraken? He's got Kraken, right? He's not running over here. I'll take my victory. Bye. I have another text. One second. These texts are important most of the time. Um, I'm only 400 gold up. I mean, that's not a huge thing. We both have tier 2 defense, but I think I have a stronger item. Well, I will have a stronger item once it's stacked. Right now, he definitely has the stronger damage item. Can I have your blue buff, though? Oh, we got a mini. 200. This is going to hurt. Ow. In 10 seconds, I can alt. I think if I get Krakened, as long as I'm next to him with my 3 active and my alt active, I'll live. As long as I'm next to him, I think I'll be fine. He's hugging that, uh, the tower, though. I do have Pestilence finished. I really think that this is actually good for me. I like this matchup, by the way. I've played this matchup... I don't know, 30 times? Maybe 30 or 40 times? I've played this matchup a lot. And it always feels better for Set than it does for Poseidon. Poseidon can have counterplay if the set doesn't understand what to do, but I, it, it's me and I do understand what to do, so. So like, the thing about this matchup, if you're if you're the Poseidon in this matchup, you're praying for the set not to go bees. If set goes Aegis, that's fine. That's actually fine. And let me explain, because the reason him going Aegis is fine, Yes, your alt is not going to do damage all of a sudden, right? And you might think, oh, that's not good. But it's actually not the case. You would rather... You would rather have the set build Aegis than build Beads. Because of the fact that when you go... Hold on, I'm going Hydras. When you go and all in somebody as set, you have to stick to them, right? Like your alt and your three is not doing damage... You're not getting those procs for the minions or, or extra damage on your one unless you are next to them proccing that alt, right? Like, that's the only way. It keeps you alive. It takes damage. It gives you more minions. It gives you more ability for your one to do infinite, you know? Like, that's that's your whole kit as, as set. So, as Poseidon, if you're like, if that set can't stick to you, a.k.a for some reason goes Aegis, you're really happy. And and vice versa, as the set, in order to win this matchup, you need to go Beads first relic. You have to go Beads first relic. You can't greed it for level 12. If you go like, if you go Aegis, you're going to lose this matchup. I can guarantee it. I don't think I do enough damage here. Yeah. Unfortunately, not enough. But we did do enough to get tower. So, yeah, basically, you know, long story short, if you're set in this matchup, you go beads. If you're Poseidon in this matchup, you pray he goes Aegis. Also, fun fact, never go sprint or, or never go horrific. 
because I'm slow immune in my three. So that just shows a lack of game knowledge. Um, if you're the Poseidon in this matchup, you go sprint. You go sprint and you probably go... Uh, Ankh. You probably go sprint and Ankh. If I'm the Poseidon in this, in this matchup here. And the reason you go sprint is purely to upgrade all the way to the root sprint. Like I said, if you can keep that set away from you, you're in no danger of dying. Ever. So, yeah, it's all... I mean, and... I mean, this kind of goes for every matchup, right? Like, if you're fighting a set, no matter what god you are, Sprint is very, very good against him. The the Root Sprint, not normal Sprint. Root Sprint is very good against him. And I, I can't do anything with that kill. That's unfortunate. Um, And Ankh is very good against him. Anti-heal in general is very good against him. Not necessarily Ankh, but you get the picture, right? Um, Who wants a whooping? Yeah, and then a set, really the only relic you need is beads. I mean, a root sprint also helps because if they go root sprint and then you root sprint them after they root sprint you, then that really it just cancels it out. So, um, I think it's fine. But you can see, like, if I can stick to him, it is impossible for him to do anything. He can't, like, I beads his Kraken. It does 300 damage. Who gives a shit, right? I'm healing while I beads right his kraken's doing 300 damage i'm beadsing and my because i'm still hitting him with my two and my three and my alt takes and everything i probably heal 150 of that back i probably heal half of that kraken back instantly just because i have beads instead of aegis you know and that's another thing about going aegis is set you're canceling out your own healing from your alt so you know there you go i hope you learned a little if not i hope you enjoyed the video at the very least and uh See you next time.